Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about soma clonal variations, the types of soma clonal variations, the causes of soma clonal variations, various factor influencing them and the applications of soma clonal variation will be covered in this lecture. So without any delay, let us start the video. So first of all, what are soma clonal variations? So these are the variations which are produced in those plants which are developed through plant tissue cultures. In simple words, you can say that the soma clonal variations are the variations shown by the plants produced through plant tissue culture. Because when we make a plant via plant tissue culture, so there are certain variations developed in that particular plant. So these variations which are due to plant tissue culture, these are known as soma clonal variations. Now the types of soma clonal variations, so soma clonal variations are generally of two types, genetic soma clonal variations and epigenetic soma clonal variations. So genetic variations as the name indicates, so these are genetic means they are pre-existing variations in the somatic cells. They are present or you can say they are all, these are already present in the somatic cells and these may be due to the mutations or other, or other DNA changes. While the epigenetic soma clonal variations, so these are those variations which are developed during the plant tissue culture. So genetic variations are those variations which are already present in the somatic cells while epigenetic variations are those variations which are developed during the plant tissue culture. Means they are not present or you can, you can say they are not pre-existing. They developed during the plant tissue culture. So these are the epigenetic soma clonal variations. Now what are the molecular bases or the causes of soma clonal variation means how the soma clonal variations developed. So generally their causes divided into three types physiological cause, genetic cause and the biochemical cause. Now let us discuss all of these cause in detail. First physiological cause of soma clonal variations it include like physiological means how physiologically soma clonal variation can be developed. So it may be due to exposure of culture to plant growth regulator means due to the plant growth regulators the soma clonal variation may be developed during the plant tissue culture or second due to the culture condition like during the culture we may fluctuate the temperature pH may also be differ. So due to this culture condition the soma clonal variation may be developed. Next the genetic causes of soma clonal variations. So the genetic causes include change in chromosome number, chromosome structure, gene mutation, extra chromosomal gene mutations, transposable element activation and alteration in DNA. Now let us discuss them. So first is change in number that the soma clonal variation may be due to change in number means during plant tissue culture there may happen that there may be change in chromosome number occurs due to which thus variation will be developed. So here change in chromosome number it divided into generally two types of conditions aneuploidy and euploidy. Aneuploidy is a condition in which one or more chromosomes they may either be added or deleted from the basic chromosome number like it may called as monosomy if one chromosome is less than normal chromosome count that is 2 and minus 1 then nullisomy when two chromosomes are deleted or less than basic chromosome number so that is nullisomy and trisomy when one extra chromosome is there means from the basic number of chromosome one more chromosome is added so trisomy and tetrasomy when two more chromosome added to the basic chromosome number that condition will called as tetrasomy. Euploidy in this condition complete set of chromosome will be added or lost from the basic chromosome number. So it may either be monoploidy when the one complete set of chromosome is deleted or you can say lost. So that is monoploidy and polyploidy when one or more complete set of chromosome added to the basic number of chromosomes so that condition is polyploidy. So this aneuploidy or euploidy may be responsible for the soma clonal variations. Next cause of soma clonal variation is that they may occurs 
due to the change in chromosome structure also so changes in chromosome structure it include like deletion so deletion is the condition in which a fragment of chromosome is deleted from it like this is the chromosome from a to h so this represent the chromosome in case of deletion so deletion may either be terminal or interstitial so in case of terminal deletion the terminal part of chromosome will be deleted out like here you can see in case of terminal deletion so this terminal part that is abc is deleted from the chromosome so now this is the terminal deletion while in case of interstitial deletion the you can say the middle part or middle segment of chromosome will be deleted like here you can see in this chromosome structure the middle cd has been deleted and now we have interstitial deleted chromosome segment so this deletion may also be responsible for the soma clonal variation second change in the chromosome that can occur that is duplication in which one or more fragment of chromosome they get duplicated like for example this is again the chromosome here this b and c portion that is b and c fragment of chromosome it get duplicated you can say it repeat itself means it get duplicated so due to this duplication the chromosome you can say duplication in chromosome soma clonation may be developed next change in structure is inversion in which the inversion one or more fragment they just break and inserted in the reverse direction like you can see in here in this diagram this is again the chromosome and this b c d portion it get break off or get separated from the chromosome and it will invert its position like you can clearly see now it is rotated so it inverted position and again attached to back to the chromosome so this condition is called as inversion in which the one or more fragment they just break off invert their direction and again attached to the chromosome in reverse direction so this condition is inversion so this inversion may also be responsible for the soma clonal variations next change in structure conditions include translocations so there in this translocation the one or more fragments of chromosome they are they may break and inserted at new position like you can see this is the chromosome and here this b and c portion is break off from the parent chromosome and now you can see the position of b and c is changed so it means it inserted at the new position similarly here again these are two chromosome and in these two chromosome the position of this b is again changed you can it b position of b get exchanged with each other so this translocation may also be responsible for the soma clonal variations now next cause of soma clonal variation under genetic cause is gene mutations that soma clonal variation may also be due to gene mutation or change in dna like so gene mutation generally may be transition or transversion so in case of transition gene mutation the purine will be replaced with purine like adenine with adenine and pyrimidine will be replaced with pyrimidine that is cytosine with thymidine or vice versa but in case of transversion purine will be replaced with pyrimidine or pyrimidine will be replaced with purine so due to the replacement there will be mutation in the gene and that may be responsible for the soma clonal variations now next cause of soma clonal variation are extra chromosomal gene mutations like some genes they are present outside the nucleus like in case of like for example in the mitochondrial chloroplast so these mitochondrial genes and chloroplast genes mutation in those genes it may also be responsible for the soma clonal variation the next cause transposable element activation generally majority of transposable element they are inactive but during plant tissue culture these transposable element they may get activated and shift their position or change their position so due to this transposable element activation the soma clonal variations may developed next alteration in dna the genetic cause it also include sub categories that is alteration in dna so here change in dna like uh, one of the scientists in 1982 they shown that the heritable quantitative and qualitative changes they can be observed in nuclear dna content of double haploid nicotiana 
silvestris obtained from the pollen culture of plant and methylation of dna means alteration it also include either change in dna or methylation so methylation generally inactivate the transcription process so due to this methylation soma colonization may develop now biochemical changes of soma clonal variations so biochemical changes they include the lack of photosynthetic ability means in the uh, plant tissue culture the developing plant may lose the photosynthetic ability due to that soma clonal variation may develop or antibiotic resistance because in plant tissue culture we generally use certain antibiotics specifically when we are working with some transgenic plant we use certain vectors which have antibiotic resistant genes so due to that resistance may be developed so that may also be one of the you can say reason of the soma clonal variations induction of soma clonal variation is how you can induce the soma clonal variation so in order to induce the soma clonal variations so we generally take the callus tissue and in the callus tissue we you can say apply the physical or chemical mutagen the mutagen is that agent which will be used for creating the soma clonal variations it may either of any physical factor or may a chemical that can be used as a mutagen so in order to induce the soma clonal variation first we you can say we apply the physical or chemical mutagen to the callus tissue which result in after that the organogenesis will be takes place and the plant regenerated after the organogenesis will have the particular soma clonal variation that was developed due to this chemical or physical mutagen now these regenerated plant they will now harden and they will be selfed with each other and now the soma clonal variants they will be developed so from that soma clonal variants we may either repeat the cycle which means we can again make the uh, x plant or you can say we can again use the x plant from these soma clonal variants and again repeat the same process now, what are the different factors that affect the soma clonal variations so different factor they include first genotype of plant used definitely the soma clonal variation will depend upon the genotype of that plant which is used for the plant tissue culture next x plant source so the source of x plant has you can say it has a very critical variable for the soma clonal variation like for example when we work with a geranium so it has been demonstrated that the soma clonal variations were observed from in vivo root and petiole cuttings but not from the stem cutting so it means x plant source also affect the soma clonal variations next duration of culture so it is generally seen that longer the duration of culture more is the chances of development of soma clonal variation so generally we can say that the soma clonal variation increased with increase in duration of culture and next culture condition so definitely culture condition will also affect the soma clonal variation frequency so it has been known that the growth regulator composition of culture medium can influence the frequency of karyotypic alteration in the cultured cell the growth regulator 24d and aa and bap that is benzyl aminopurin etc so they are most frequently considered responsible for the soma clonal variations now finally the applications of soma clonal variations so the soma clonal variation first application is generation of novel variants so by this soma clonal variations or changes the new variety of plant will be developed second insect resistance plant so by this soma clonal variations we can develop the insect resistance plant we can also develop the disease resistance plant by this soma clonal variations and this soma clonal variation can be used for the development of improved quality plants like improved seed quality and herbicide resistance plant can also be developed by this soma clonal variation by inducing the soma clonal variations and finally the abiotic stress resistance plant so abiotic stress are those resistance plant which are immune to abiotic factors like temperature salt stress water stress etc so by these soma clonal variations so by introducing soma clonal variation we can develop the abiotic stress resistance plant also so these are the some applications of 
soma colon variation so that's all about the soma colon variations that the what are soma colon variation their types their causes and application so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much